Okay, welcome back. So I believe we are definitely in the kind of closing stages of this map now. Uh, we've got a big fight coming up with Isra, who has several ghost dragons and a very large number of uh, zombies. Uh, but the real big fight coming up is with Nimbus. I can't remember exactly where he is, um, but we know he's got black dragons. I think he also has a pack of ghost dragons at least. Um, so one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use view air. And we're just going to see exactly what we're up against here. So we can see that there's a red hero, which is Kaya. Uh, we can see Isra. Um, but apart from that, there are no enemies nearby. Uh, and then if we go to the bottom of the map, we can see an orange hero kind of hidden in the shadows, uh, a red hero at the very south of the map, and actually a, a town at the very southeast edge, which I would not have noticed. Um, I don't tend to remember to use view air anywhere near as often as I should. That's something someone mentioned in a comment uh, that is a completely fair point. I, I don't use it anywhere near as much as I should. Very powerful spell um, and is going to massively help us. I would have probably just followed the path otherwise and we would have missed whatever this town is. So we'll make sure to keep an eye out for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go straight for the fight with Isra. Although before I do, I want to move the scouts first. So I'm going to send Neela over in this direction. And she can't quite reach, but that's fine. I'm going to send this guy up in this direction. I can't remember why. I don't remember if I knew about this gold mine or not, but we've got it now. Uh, I'm going to send... I think this is Pyre. Yep, I'm going to send Pyre in this direction, and we're going to start moving towards um, this Conflux town. Uh, because we do know that there's a red hero here on the water. Pretty weak one, but still. Uh, we could potentially go for, attack, for an attack with a backup hero. Septien is quite strong. So I'm not sure we're ready for that, although with Pyre's extra units, we should be okay. Uh, and then we've also got Syra, who is going to move towards this town. I don't think Kaya can reach us yet, and I shouldn't really have done that because I should have uh, got a scout out of this town. I think I've now blocked myself off, but never mind. Uh, and then that's pretty much everyone except Theodorus. So yeah, Theodorus is going to go for the attack on Isra. I just want to get through this with as few losses as possible. And I'm actually going to put the Behemoths away because I, I really don't think there's much point having two Ancient Behemoths. I think I would just rather have two stacks of Master Genies, uh, get the extra bit of morale and the extra bit of spell casting. And yeah, we'll just go for a big attack on Isra. So some loss is expected. So the big scary stacks are of course Skeleton Warriors. Uh, I think probably I'm more scared of the Dread Knights than I am of the Ghost Dragons and then uh, the Zombies. I'm not sure whether to be scared of them or not. In theory, they're not going to hit any harder than the skeletons, so we don't have to worry about them too much. Uh, these guys should be fine where they are. I'm going to move these guys forward. These guys likewise. And I think if we haste everyone, we should be pretty safe just to send everyone forward. Okay, several misclicks later. I think we're fine, so yeah, going to go straight for the haste. Uh, I don't have a great hit with these. I really don't. I can't really hit anything without getting retaliated against, um, and I'm not strong enough to actually kill a stack. So I think... Yeah, there's really not too much we can do. I think I will just go and attack the Liches straight up. Uh, and then these guys, we're going to go ahead and... I think I'd ideally like to try and prayer one of these stacks. We can see that the Ghost Dragons have a turn coming up just before the Magi. So if we manage to get prayer, which we don't, that could have helped, but never mind. Uh, these guys are going to do over a thousand damage, which is not enough to kill these. Certainly not enough to kill these. But it should be about enough to kill these. And I could probably also go for the Liches, definitely could. But we can do enough to kill 24 instead of 12. Uh, they both have the same amount of HP, so I'm going to go for the Basilisks. And then these guys, I think I'm just going to go straight for the attack on these, because they do have a turn coming up next. These guys, well, these guys are coming up next. But I, I don't think I'm going to do enough damage. I'd probably rather just go straight for them with the Naga Queens. So let's just go for... Let's go for these. And yeah, these guys can reach us, and they're going to do quite a lot of damage, so... I think we just want to go for the Dread Knights. 
Shouldn't have gone for that, of course, because the liches will now be able to attack two of us at once unless we go block them off, which I think I will. And in the process, we can hopefully wipe out the skeleton warriors. Not quite, but that's fine. Uh, he goes for protection from water, strangely. Uh, and he flees, so we only lose one iron golem, which is completely fine. Okay, and we can keep traveling on, but I'd probably rather just go for the town portal instead. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for town portal instead. So this town is called Dark Eternal, so I would have gone to the wrong one. Let's make sure we go to Dark Eternal. And yeah, no great way through. Could go visit this, and could go pick up some extra knowledge. I don't see why not. And yeah, that should be fine for now. And then we've got 71k left in the bank. I don't think we have too much we need to be spending that on. Uh, I will go back to the Conflux Town, because we can still build this up. Let's just go for the City Hall. Check the tavern. Nothing great on offer and no great place to scout. I don't think we're massively threatened, but we do know that they are at least kind of near us with Kaya. So let's go and hire some things in here. And yeah, I think that should be fine. I'm just going to win the turn. See what they do. So this guy drops off, but we know they're weak. Uh, Kaya is coming towards us, but then actually takes a detour. And red and orange. Not doing a great job of taking each other out, but never mind. Okay, so plus one level for 10 gems. We really want advanced earth magic, so we're going to go for it. Unfortunately, we do not get it. I'm going to go for expert learning just to take it out of the pool. And we don't need to go for the stables. I'm going to have to start moving towards this one up here. Not sure this is going to work, but it's only three turns away, so we might as well give it a go. And then I think Pyre could potentially go and attack this get a fairy dragon and go for the attack, but I, I'm not sure we need to. Just gonna see what spell she has. So, no summon boat. Summon boat is one of those spells that I use so rarely that I have no idea what level it is. So I don't know. I imagine it's level two at most, but I'm still gonna go for this. And that pretty much gets us nothing, but never mind. Alright, so there are no boats we can pick up, so we're going to have to just go straight for the shipyard uh, and take a bit of a detour. Probably all the way around the island. Uh, and then I think Nymus himself is just going to pick up some extra units next week, pass them over to Pyre, and we'll use Pyre as a bit of a backup hero. Uh, Syra, I'm going to send into the town. Just mix all that up. I'm going to actually split the zombies into two stacks because they are pretty tanky if nothing else and they should be able to take hits from these if we split them so we might as well do that I'm not going to be attacking with them so that's all fine uh, Solmir I'm going to return to the base although actually let's claim some stuff and then Theodorus it makes no sense to wait here so we're just going to have to move on I'm going to use view air once again which shows us so orange has kind of moved back towards their town I think our best bet is just to go towards it. We don't have view earth. So yeah, we're pretty much stuck just moving in this direction. I don't think it's worth going for this for 1000 XP. Let's go for this though. Let's get plus two attack skill. And yeah, I'm not sure which way we should go here. I'm going to try going this way, I think. So yeah, that's actually a dead end. Okay, so hopefully we can push through. And I think we're just going to go ahead and pick up Tyraxor as a scout. And let's just take these. Don't really know what I'm going to do with him, but I'm just going to move him in this direction for now. And we'll keep an eye out for the opposing heroes. Mephala is slightly stronger than us, so we're not going to go for her. Um, but I just want to keep moving in this direction, see what we can find. And outside of that, I don't really think we need to spend anything else. So. Let's just move on quickly. I'm I'm fairly confident that once we take out Nymus, we should have this in the bag, so I'm willing to take a few risks. As uh, Kaya does not go for the attack, so we'll be able to reinforce. And I'm not sure what's going on towards the northwest, but I think we can probably just go attack it. It's going to take a couple of turns, but that's fine. Uh, let's just move in this direction, although before we do... 
Make sure we pick up some extra units. So I do need to keep some of these back. So let's just keep back some of these slower, weaker units. I'm not sure this is enough, although I guess, yeah, 13 phoenixes, we should be fine. We're going to go in this direction with those. Uh, we can't quite land, which is quite frustrating. But I think we have to go for it. We do have to be a bit careful of Nimus, or Nimbus, as he's actually right there. But that kind of changes things. I didn't realise he was on the water. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Oh well, let's just see what we can do here for now. So that is... Maybe not a dead end, actually. Could have gone that way. Never mind. Just going to go in this direction. Uh, we can then find a Redwood Observatory, which reveals a fortress town. And Thant's actually pretty good. But, yeah, that should still be a relatively easy fight, so I'm not too worried. Uh, it's going to take a while to actually go and challenge Nimbus. But I think we can do it. If we can get ourselves the town portal... Not town portal. If we can get ourselves advanced uh, Earth Magic and bring Neela over... I think she can probably pick up a few extra units and we can deal with Nimbus with her instead. We should be pretty safe in both these towns. Okay, that should be more than enough to hold off Kaya. Uh, Brissa likewise, pretty weak. I don't think she can do much at all. Um, I'm not actually sure if Red has any towns left. Surprisingly, they have at least two. I'm surprised that uh, Orange hasn't gone for a stronger attack, because Red is extremely weak. We can see Inane has come back. But the strongest hero is in fact Saurig, who has gold dragons. But yeah. Should be a pretty easy fight, I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna try and stay away from Nimbus. I do need to I do need to be able to get back and defend. Uh, but otherwise. I feel like he's guaranteed to land. I probably have to town portal to take him on, but that's fine. I'm gonna go up in this direction. I don't think he can reach us. And then this guy I'm just going to send to the northeast. Don't really think there's much we can gain from this, but I just want to see what's up there. And yeah, I'm just gonna win the turn there. I think it's all pretty much down to making the push with Theodorus now, so there's no point dragging it out. Okay, so... Nimbus has landed. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this. That's actually pretty tough. Yeah, that's actually got pretty strong. This could be kind of painful, but we have to do it. Okay, so those losses don't look too bad. Problem is, of course, we can't really send these in, they're just too weak. And then the rest of these units... We would have to be able to break down the walls. We do have expert ballistics. But Fortress Towns in general, pretty hard to assault against, of course. I'm just going to send pretty much everyone forward. Let's put these guys somewhere they can't be reached by the Gorgons, at least. Uh, and then, of course, we want to keep the Titans back from the Gorgons, too. These guys want to come out and attack us, that's fine. Okay, so we lose a few Magi. I'm not sure what to go with. Uh, if we go for Implosion, that's pretty much guaranteed to kill something. If we go for Meteor Shower, we don't have it. Blind, I don't think that helps us too much. Expert slow is tempting me. Let's go for this first. Okay, so we do manage to open it up, so it does make sense to go for mass haste in that case. Uh, and I'm going to go for... This is probably the best I can do. And then I think I'm going to have to attempt to get these guys speed up. Or, let's try these guys instead. 
I have to send these guys to attack the dragonflies. Don't manage to take out the dragonflies. Yeah, we're going to take some losses here for sure. Okay, so the big threats coming up are the Wyvern Monarchs are going to go before the Nagas and the Iron Golems. I think we have to go for those. So those actually get slow, so that's a problem. I think I've also blocked off my Naga Queens from going through. Can go for a full powered shot on any of these. Gonna have to just go for these, I think. Okay, so we're gonna wait with these, we're gonna move the Golems out of the way. As uh, these guys actually come out to attack the Golems, I'm really surprised by that. Do lose a Phoenix. I feel like I have great options here. I'm actually pretty tempted to haste just to get the golems moving again. I think that's going to help more than most of our other options. Either I haste or I could go for the implosion on these, which I think I'll go for that. I don't think there's much I can do with these. They do have a bit of HP left, so we might as well just try and keep them around to tank some hits. And these guys are free to move. Let's see if we can haste these. Oh, but no such luck. Okay, so we do get to finish them off. I mean, the losses aren't too bad. We pretty much lost our Magi as a power stack. We're going to get Josephine just because she's level 4. I'm not sure she can hold much off, but we'll give it a go. Theodorus, we're going to go and teleport over to Electrizing. Okay, so I should take some more stacks here. I'm not sure I can, and I'm not sure I need to. This is really the big fight. There's not too much else to worry about. Well, there is. 50 to 99 Dread Knights. I didn't even see that. That is actually quite terrifying. Yeah, I'm going to need some more units. I don't have too many movement points to spare. But the good news is, his next move, there's no escape. If he jumps on the boat, we can chase him down. If he tries to move past us, we can definitely catch him. So let's actually go ahead and pick up a few extra units. Let's go back to our two tower towns. Now this one is unupgraded, but that's fine. I can upgrade the Cloud Temple now. I don't really see a reason to hang on to our gold. Let's just do it. Okay, so we spent all of our gold. That happened a lot sooner than I thought. So I probably shouldn't have got the upgraded Cloud Temple, but honestly, I think it's probably fine. I could pass over a stack, but I don't see the point. Okay, so we need 10 gems for that, so yeah, definitely shouldn't have gone for the upgraded Cloud Temple, but I'm actually feeling reasonably confident, even with the 50 plus Dread Knights. I'm hoping it is about 50, I'd be really surprised if it's anywhere near 100.
Yeah, so decides not to go for the attack, can't quite decide what to do. It does manage to move a really long way. I should have uh, I should have changed over to just have my phoenixes, but I can still reach him. And it's going to be a boat battle. Which I think I can make work in my favour. I've forgotten to upgrade these. But I can still do that. If I want to. I think I'd rather just leave them behind and do this. I know I could have a stronger force, I'm completely aware of that, but honestly I, I don't see the need. If I think I'm going to win the fight, and I don't think there's too many other big fights coming up, I don't see the big threat. So I thought it was going to be the one with um, with planks, but of course because we're not in a boat ourselves we just get this, uh, this kind of pure boat fight. Yeah, so 53 Dread Knights, that's still really scary, but I think... If we just send our Naga Queens to attack those, we should be okay. Let's try this. So I would like to start off with the Mass Haste. Something I could have done is I could have held back, but they do have 73 Power Liches, so... I think this is the right choice. Right, so those guys still get to go before us. Uh, these guys are now able to bless somebody. Or enhance somebody. So, as usual, the ghost dragons are coming up. We're not going to be able to take them out in one turn with the titans. So I could actually go for absorbing retaliation instead. What I don't know is what spell Nimbus is going to go for. So if Nimbus goes for slow, then absorbing the retaliation of these guys isn't going to help us too much. So I think I'm going to take my chances of just getting these guys to be prayed. Okay, so that doesn't work out. I am just going to go for the attack on the Power Liches with these. You take a few losses back, but that's fine. Uh, these guys are going to come and attack us. They can attack anyone of their choosing. If I could actually prevent these guys from getting a turn, I'd attack them. But since I can't actually prevent them doing anything, I think it makes more sense to go for these. Okay, so we do lose a Titan there, that's okay. Uh, these guys are now able to go for the attack. Okay, so I don't mind losing a few Genies. I think I will just go for these. Okay, so they get lucky in response, they do a lot of damage back. Uh, they come to attack the Magi. I think the Magi, yeah, pretty much irrelevant now. They're not going to do too much else. Who's our Phoenix? Okay, so we've got Slayer. Which might be enough. Just to help us kill this. Probably not in one shot, but... Something approaching that. Alternatively, the Implosion is still not going to kill all of them. I think we have to go for Implosion, because they of course have quite high defense and it just makes perfect sense to go for the Ghost Dragons. Uh, these guys are going to attack these, and then yeah, these guys can easily finish them off. I think what I'd rather do instead... There's not much in it between these two. But our Iron Golems can go before the Whites, or the Wraiths but not the Vampire Lords, so let's go for the Vampire Lords. Okay, so double damage against our Nagas, we lose a few of those. This is pretty much the final fight, so I'm completely okay with taking a few losses. These guys are just going to go for these as planned. Okay, so he actually flees. So we've taken some pretty heavy losses, but like I say, it's... It's units we don't need anymore. We've pretty much taken him out. We should be safe now to jump back. And I think we can just push. 
finish off the game. Got very few movement points left, so in this case we are going to go ahead and leave pretty much everything behind. We do still have 20 Titans, so I'm not too worried about that. Go visit this, try and get ourselves off the swamp. I'm actually going to trade a few resources just so we can see if we can get ourselves advanced earth magic. Nope. Still no sign of it. Okay, so Neela's pretty much trapped. I don't think there's really anything else that Neela can do, so let's just start moving her back towards base. Uh, and let's just end the turn there. Okay, so someone is definitely thinking of coming to attack us. So what I might do now that I've taken out Nimbus is... I might start allowing myself... to use uh, Dimension Door. Because... Wow, he's actually pretty tough, so maybe not. He still has a chance, I guess. Yeah, he's actually managed to pick up a massive force there. Okay, so we don't have a great way of reaching him. Okay, so Sarug has given his units to Mephala. I was going to say, if that's their best hero, then they are definitely out of the game. I'm not sure where Mephala is. Mephala's up here, she's coming to attack. She has... Probably ten Black Knights. I don't think it's any more than that. I think we can probably just hold that off. Yeah, I think this alone could probably do it. With the help of the towers, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I'm not going to allow myself to use Dimension Door until I definitely think there are no threats left on the map. So Nimbus is very much still a threat. Probably doesn't have any more than 10 phoenixes, but we should at least give him a chance. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, I do think we have enough. But what I can do is I can go and attack someone else instead. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough there. I'm going to see if I can set up a bit of a backup force. Okay, so she actually does come for an attack, and we're not expected to win. So yeah, it is 10 Black Knights. 16 Vampires. 31 Whites. I'm not really seeing a great stack here. What she does have is great stats, and of course she's an armor specialist, which is gonna... ...create some problems. We can go for a blind, but only on the Gremlins, so that's not gonna help us. We don't have too many other great options. Fireball would do a total of 35 points of damage, could get all three of these stacks, but there's not much of a point. Yeah, we don't exactly have a key stack here. I think, if anything... Vampire Lords, of course, can't use Life Drain, so 
that's not going to help us too much. If I go for slow... I don't think there's too much I need to keep out. Yeah, I think I'm going to save my spell points for now. I'm just going to wait. I what I could have done is I could have slowed the whites. I wonder if I still can. Yeah, I should have done that a bit sooner, but... They can't currently reach anything, so... We should be safe for at least one more round, and then of course the burn dragons are going to come in. These guys can go out to attack. They will get the next go. So we could just go for a free hit on the liches. They will hit back, but I think that's fine. And then we're just going to pull back. Okay, so those do actually quite a lot of damage. I think what I'll do is I'll just try and weaken these as much as we can. Okay, so the whites are going to be able to come in and attack. They go for the gremlins. That's actually completely fine because I now have just the six of them left. Uh, I can, of course, use them to focus on the burn dragons. Draw out the retaliation. They do get killed, but now we can focus all our attacks on the burn dragons. Okay, so we're going to do about 50 points of damage. If we do this, we're going to take another 60. It's kind of worth a shot. Yeah, so we need to do 55. We're going to do something roughly halfway between 36 and 72. We have a chance. Okay, don't quite make it. These guys are free to attack. We've only got six of them. Uh, I can't see the whites. There they are. Yeah, it's not worth going for that. Let's get the kill on this. Yeah, I think we can win this. Of course, if they do manage to break down the, the gate, that could be a problem. But... All in all, I think it's in our favour. Yeah, we can't really do too much with four of these, but let's just go and weaken this as much as we can. I think these guys are just going to have to fend.
Okay, so she uses her final spell points on enhancing these. They still have no great way of getting across, so I'm not too worried just yet. I think if we keep the ghost dragons alive, she only has two spell power, so that's gonna wear off. We can probably kite the black knights. 65 zombies isn't gonna go down easy. But I think that's our only option. I'm pretty sure they had the option to attack there and they didn't go for it. And we're now going to plug the gap using 32 of these. So we do have the moat damage in addition to everything else. Uh, they're going to try and cross in a different place, but we can always block them. Yeah, so as you can see, they take extra damage from the moat each turn. We can just defend with these. These guys currently make no attempt to get across. can't protect the liches, so I think I might just send them forward. But then again, we're not really protecting much. And yeah, since the towers are going to focus them down, they're just down to two. Two of these shouldn't do much damage to the ghost dragons, so I'm going to defend. They do go for the liches. I'm not going to do enough with these. I think this is worth doing. Yeah, we do get lucky, so we take one out. They get taken out, and yeah, it's just down to the zombies now. They have no way of chasing us down. She's not currently close to taking out all three of our towers, and she has just the 46 left. We can hold them in place for at least a couple more rounds, so we'll, get, so we'll be getting the, uh, the moat damage as well. And after that, I think we've pretty much got this one. We do, of course, have a few liches left to do a bit more damage. And yeah, I think we can pretty much just wait this out. Okay, so they do manage to break through. We're just going to try and keep them in place. 17 zombies. I don't think they're going to be able to kill the ghost dragon. There we go. So, Mephala has actually let herself get completely taken out. And that gets us the Greater Null's Flail. I thought she'd have something more than that. Okay, so this guy actually has Dimension Door, and he's coming straight to attack us. I don't think that changes my plans too much. Yeah, he could probably beat us, but if we bring down the couple of Ancient Behemoths, we might be okay. Do have to worry about this guy too. Yeah, so it's not quite over yet, but we're definitely in the closing stages. We've definitely taken out most of the very strongest heroes on the map. We've still got Nimbus to worry about, but... He's not as strong as he was before, we still have 20 titans. I think we're in a good position to take this forward, but I am going to wrap it up here, so thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for what could be the finale, I'm not sure, but we'll see.